Hey guys, welcome to the video. Uh, in today's video we're going to fit a brake disc to my electric wheel motor. It's a front front hub motor. There's Stephen there. Stephen, making a video. It's a bloody squirrel. So it's a 48 volt, 1000 watt motor. It's 26 inch wheel and it's black and hopefully it goes fast and I don't have to pedal and it should be quite cool. Never done this before, so this is a bit of an eye opener. I watched a couple of videos on YouTube. It doesn't look too difficult. Uh, I've got my my pile ring protector there, ready for just raising the uh, said wheel off of the desk, so we're not um, not bouncing everywhere. So this is the discs that we bought from eBay. Uh, the wheel was purchased from eBay as well. There's two in there, I only need one because we've only got one wheel with a disc on it. So let's get to it. I think I'm going to need an Allen key. This is the pain in the ass trying to find a bloody Allen key that fits everything. Did I do it first time? No. Damn it. Aha! This one. I have no idea what the size is. I don't see the one we need. So put them on the back. I moved all my uh, my workspace around at the weekend, so I'm getting used to where, where everything is. Snips, up and down, up and down. Sit on my chair so I don't bang my head every two minutes, because that's something I do. So on the wheel, I've actually got a couple of washers. This one, this washer here with like a little tab on it. There you can really see it. Um, this is called a lock washer, something like that. I almost sound like I knew what I was doing then. Come on, man. you do this. So we are going to undo these. Tell you what we're doing. We open this box, and everything can go back in that box. So if I drop it, I find it. And that's one. So I do believe this is like a plastic washer that they put on, which is the depth of your disc. So basically when you're putting your disc on, you remove this plastic washer and put your disc on, on it instead. I've got to keep an eye on the battery because it's running a little bit low. Okay, that's your last one done. Seems a bit greasy. Right, let's take this washer off. Uh, let's undo this first. This is your cable and your hall sensor. Take that out. So that is your washer that you do not need anymore. So let's get our disc. And your discs are directional. Uh, it would help if they put arrows on. And they have. Excellent. There, I don't know whether you can see. Stephen, that's twice now interrupting our videos. Right, so this is a disc. I don't know if you can see what it says on it. 55 inch by 6.2 nm. That means absolutely nothing to me. It might to you. So these are directional and so will the wheel on a tire be. If you look, this wheel has actually got a massive arrow pointing that way. So that's cool. So I'll show you it. Just, oh just there. I'm trying not to touch. Try not to touch the disc with my greasy fingers. Uh, and the arrows are going that way, so let's put that through. Easy said and done. Excellent. So just double check in. My arrows are right. Excellent. So let's stick that one in there. I'm going to go opposites. So I do one here, one there, one there, one there as I'm tying them up. Look at me concentrating. Tongue's hanging out and everything. I've like been back at school again. Successfully fitted. Right now we're just going to tighten it up. So you don't want to damage the threads, so just be careful when you tighten up. Not to uh, go in at a funny angle. It was at a funny angle. 
it was behind your tie round. I'm just going to tighten them because you don't want your brake falling off when you're flying down a hill. Standard, let me take my eye out. Right, so I think I paid £26 for the brake discs. Obviously there's two of them, I only really need one, so we've got one ready for the next build. And I paid £26, I got two, two brake discs, two calipers, and some brake levers, which I don't need, because obviously it's an electric bike and it, they have their own brake levers, that when you push, pull the brake, it shuts your motor off, which is quite a nice safety feature. Double check that you have tightened them all up and they're not going to fly off as you're coming down a hill. So that is my brake disc fitted to my electric hub motor. Um, it wasn't rocket science by any means. Um, very easy to do. Literally just undo your bolts, you add it with an Allen key, take off the washer, replace the washer with your disc, put the bolts back on and you're done. Uh, I do have to fit the wheel to the bike, then the calipers to the bike as well, so that might be where the issue starts becoming a little bit more difficult, but just fitting a disc onto a wheel is a piece of <laughs> Obviously, if you're worried about doing something like this, don't be. It's very easy at this stage anyway. And another video done. So, as always guys, thank you for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe somewhere down the bottom. I'll catch you in the next one.